Okay, now it's time to hear from Parker. Parker is a freshman majoring in biology and botany. And Parker knows all the best places to eat and discover Bucks County's cultural treasures. Parker, please take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Doylestown. I've lived in the Doylestown area since I was about 10 years old. I was originally born and raised in Hawaii, but I've grown to really love it here. Our town was recently named USA Today's number one small town in the cultural scene category, and we definitely live up to that title. For example, every fall we have a two-day arts fest that consumes the center of town with vendors selling artwork, paintings, anything you could want, along with tons of food trucks. That is probably my all-time favorite event that we have in Doylestown. Speaking of food, we also have a plethora of restaurants to choose from of almost any variety. I can remember when I was younger, I used to go to different restaurants to see who had the best fried calamari. P.S. It's the Pen Tap Room. For students who live on campus, don't worry, our local bus, the Doylestown Dart, stops at Delvelle to pick kids up and shuttle them into town. Walking around Doylestown is a great way to pass some time on the weekends, and we have all kinds of different stores from thrift shops to upscale boutiques. Admire the architecture while grabbing some coffee or boba from a local cafe before heading down to the Mercer Museum, a giant historical castle in the middle of Doylestown. One of two, actually. Font Hill, located just behind me, was the home of Henry Mercer, a tile worker who designed his own home and the Mercer Museum to be a collection of technology and artwork used in the early 1900s. Pretty cool. Across the street from the Mercer Museum is the Michener Art Museum, an old prison turned cultural hub. Students can get free passes to all of these from the Bucks County Library, which is just next door to the Art Museum. Another hidden gem is Peace Valley, a park featuring Lake Galena located about 15 minutes outside of Doylestown. I love to walk the trails and walk around the lake and force my friends to listen to me talk about lichen and mushrooms, which is super nerdy, but it does help me study. And if Doylestown isn't enough one day, just hop on the train and head down to Philadelphia, which is about 25 miles south. We have our very own train station located at Delval, just a short walk away from most of the dorms. I love heading down to Philly to go to concerts or to visit friends who live down there. Besides Philadelphia, we're less than two hours away from tons of popular day trips, such as New York City, the Poconos, and the Jersey Shore. So although there's tons to do in the heart of Doylestown, all of these trips are just a short car or train ride away. When you choose Delval, you choose Doylestown, along with all of its historic small town charm. Back to you, Alex. Great cultural overview, Parker. Sounds like students have a lot of options for things to do off campus. What a location. Cheers, Parker.